Hi, this is Dave in the IQ Center with a quick tutorial on how to use the Roadrec mic to record external audio using an iPhone or an iPad. Um, first thing you need to do is take the take the Roadrec microphone and plug it into the port on the iPad or iPhone. Um, then, after you've installed it, you can press the Roadrec app on the phone. Um, and before you start recording any audio, it's uh, it's probably a good idea to set up some of the naming conventions for your for your files. You can see here I have a list that's called recording one, recording two. That's not very helpful. Uh, there's actually a way to um, change the name of these before you uh, before you hit record. So if I press this little button on the lower right hand corner, it gives me some uh, some options. So one thing I can do is change the the, the prefix of the files, uh, and it. It would be helpful to maybe call these uh, by the scene name. So, like if you're um, doing multiple takes of, of different scenes, you can call the you can make the prefix scene you know scene two dash and uh, um, and then you can make the suffix whatever you want. It can be the date or it can be a unique number. So it could be like your take number. Um, I've got it set to current date and time, which I think would be helpful. Um, so we're going to um, uh, just leave it set there. Hit done. And now any recording we make will automatically be called scene one and then the, the uh, current date. Um, so uh, now we're ready to record. If I press the plus, that creates a new recording. And, and you can see the name of this recording is scene two and then the, the date and time, which is, which is helpful. Um, the, uh, before you hit record, uh, it's wise to get the, the level set. So you attach the microphone to your talent, press the, this little microphone icon, and you have a slider that can adjust the, uh, the level. And, you want to adjust this up high enough that that you're starting to get the the full um, range of that of that. You can see as I'm talking, I'm doing test, 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 and if I turn this up even higher, I can get it'll get to the point where I can see yellow. Test, test, test. Um, so I've had to turn this up quite a bit for most recordings. Um, and uh, so once you get the level the way you want it, um, you can press record. And now you can see as I talk, your recording um, is showing up in the, in the window. At this point, you can actually uh, turn the screen off of the phone and it will still be recording. Um, but this will help you not hit buttons accidentally. You can put it in your pocket and just keep recording. Now when you, when you bring the phone back up, um, you, you can see it's still recording. It hasn't it hasn't stopped recording. Um, so when you're done with the recording, press stop. And uh, you can leave it recording through multiple takes of a scene. You don't need to stop this every time. Uh, it's kind of inconvenient to pull it out and, and uh, stop for every take. Uh, it'll still be able to line up. One thing that I didn't mention that you should do is record a um, record a, a clap to line it up in case you uh, have a uh, have a problem during um, during the the lineup procedure. So the next thing you need to do is to get this off of your phone or iPad, um, and you do that by using this little button in the corner here, this little up arrow. This is where we share it. Now you can use SoundCloud as I explained uh, before, um, but there's another way to do this. It's probably easier. Uh, you can press this file sharing button and create an audio file. And if you do this, the audio file will be available to you through iTunes. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that on here and then we'll, then we'll jump into iTunes in a minute. So 
you have a number of different formats to choose from. We're editing on a Mac. Macs tend to like AIFF, but Wave or AIFF is fine. Those two will work will work perfectly. Um, and so I'm going to uh, select AIFF, go back to file sharing, and hit create audio file. That's going to create an AIFF file with the name that we have selected up here. Uh, and and that's all there is to it. If you need, if you have multiple scenes that you need to export, you can go back here and and look through the list. And even though they're in here, they will not be available to iTunes unless you select them and um, and do the uh, create sound file. Then they'll be available. And I'll show you how that step right now. We'll jump into iTunes, and you can see how that how that works. Okay, so here I am on my desktop computer, and I want to get the files off of my phone or iPad. So I launch iTunes, and uh, with iTunes running, I plug in my phone or iPad, and it shows up in the in the toolbar here at the top. I click on my device, um, and on the left-hand side, you're going to select the uh, the item called Apps, and uh, under Apps. Um, you scroll down a ways and you'll see a section called file sharing and uh, under file sharing you find the road rec app that we use to record these files and you select it and here are the list of files that we the list of audio clips that we made into files so here is our scene one and scene two to get these downloaded onto your computer you just select it and hit save to find a location and select folder and that's it now those uh, you're going to want to copy that to the directory where you've stored your video and then use Final Cut Pro to line them up and that's going to be uh, in another tutorial all right that's it for now thanks for listening